I love that I get like the lighting all set up, the camera set up and everything. And it's not until I sit down and look in the viewfinder that I realize I have no lips. <laughs> this is how I remember to put lipstick on pretty much in the morning. Ooh, nothing a little good Rebel Rose can't fix. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm going to talk about all of the products that I purchased after trying out a sample. So basically the sample made me buy it. It is like storming outside right now and I'm really not looking forward to going to the train station. I probably will take an Uber. <laughs> uh, so if you guys can hear the background noise, I'm sorry. This is an attic. So it gets, it's actually really nice when you're falling asleep, like my bed right there, because it's like really soothing and you can hear the rain. But at the beginning of the day, it's kind of the opposite effect. <laughs> So I actually took some notes over the past week. I was really thinking back on products that I purchased after trying it out or trying a sample of it. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products that I bought because of a sample and how much I loved the sample. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos. And if you have it and you'd like to, I hope you will consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So the first product on my list is actually a mascara. So a mascara that I tried a little sample of and then purchased the actual full size of in like a kit was from Urban Decay. So this is the Perversion Mascara. I tried out a little mini, I'm pretty sure it was like a point perk or it came in a box. I think oh, it might have come in a Sephora play box back when I was still getting those boxes. This is an old dried out one that I don't use anymore, but I am keeping all of my old mascara empties so I could do a big video on them. But this brush was just incredible and the formula of this mascara shocked me. So for the most part, I find that I tend to really like mini mascaras better and I've, there's a little bit of science behind that. I think it's because there's less air in the tube and because the tube is so much smaller that the tube is basically the size of the brush so you can kind of get a lot more product onto the brush and onto your eyelashes as a result. This is one where I loved the mini just as much as I love the full size of this. I know that there are amazing mascaras out there that you can get for a lot cheaper and that's why I haven't repurchased this because I am testing out other mascaras. My all-time favorite one is from Essence. It's the green bottle, the Lash Princess Mascara, and that's $3. I follow to a T the three-month rule when it comes to eye products. so. I used this for the three months and then it was gone. I'm really kind of paranoid about that stuff. but. This was such a great mascara. I loved it and I purchased a full size after trying out. I think I actually tried out two of the minis or I have another mini somewhere. I think I might have another mini in my sample basket and I'm keeping it there. Either I'm going to draw it and use it again or I can just grab it whenever I want to use it again. But it was a great mascara. It's higher end-ish price. I bought this in a kit that came with I think the eyeliner and this the thing was the kit was a little bit more affordable also because I think I bought it around the holidays so this was really really great just got a text from a co-worker at 6 30 in the morning it's gonna be one of those days huh it's a really great mascara I loved it I recommend trying out that mini if you can get your hands on it but after trying out that mini I had to go out and buy the full size and I was very very happy that the full size performed just as well as the mini because sometimes you don't see that. The next product that I bought after using up a bunch of mini samples is from Diva Curl. If you don't know, which you probably do if you've been following my channel for a bit, I recently went on the curly girl method. I spent 10 years of my life straightening and blow drying my hair and as of May 2018 I stopped using heat on it at all and have let it be curly. I just recently got another big chop and I chopped off the rest of my damaged hair so this is all just like very well taken care of curly hair. It's a little flat because I just washed it so it is still a little wet. Day one hair is always a little bit flat for me but along that journey I've been doing a lot of research and one of the best things you can do for your hair even if you have straight hair it doesn't have to be curly is just to deep condition it. So back when I worked at Sephora <laughs> They, the location that I was at, had the Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask as a point perk. Now, I don't really spend my point perks that often. I have like 
1500 almost 2000 points right now because i don't really spend them on anything i'm kind of saving up because i think i can do like that gift card you can trade them in for like a hundred dollar gift card so i'm saving up for that now but before they did the gift card thing there wasn't really anything to save up for so i had a couple hundred points and these were a hundred each so i went and i got the maximum amount of these that you could get which i think was five so I used 500 points and got five of these. This is a really nice size sample. I could get a full use and a half out of each bottle. And I was using this and I got such amazing results after deep conditioning with this. Even before I chopped off the damaged hair. The damaged hair looked exponentially better. So after going through, this is my last one, after going through four of these little bottles, I bit the bullet. It's an expensive mask. But I, I decided that I am dedicating myself to preserving my hair really taking care of it and with this chop and with the fact that I now have less hair I do think this is a lot more worth it but I purchased this big boy <laughs> from Sephora they have a um what is this called it's like a jumbo size of the treatment so this is a gigantic bottle I've used it a couple of times I've actually been experimenting with a couple of other deep conditioning masks but this is my favorite it's just so expensive but it's amazing I love it I love the way it smells people don't like the way it smells but it smells like play-doh and I kind of like it yeah it smells just like play-doh but it's it's really nice and it just ah it leaves my hair so bouncy and lush and full and so I love it it's a bit tough getting past that initial sticker shock but I personally think it's worth it Especially now that I have shorter hair, like I said before, when my hair was down to here, I was using a lot more mask. But now that my hair is tiny, tiny, short, I'm not using as much. So it's definitely going to last me a lot longer than it would have. From there, let's jump into another hair care product that I purchased after a sample. And this one is from Lush. If you know anything about Lush, you'll know, like, of course, everyone knows their bath bombs and everything. I didn't really know a whole lot about, like, their shampoos and their conditioners and everything. They do have a shampoo and conditioner geared towards curly hair. I haven't tried those out yet. But I smelled this hair moisturizer in store. This is called the RMB Hair Moisturizer. It is avocado butter and jasmine. And that's what it smells like. It's absolutely divine. So... I loved the way that it smelled and that it's a hair moisturizer and my hair needed moisture. So I got a few samples of this. I spent a few months whenever I went back to Lush I would get another sample of it because they only give you a little bit. So when I got the samples I was using it to style my hair which it worked pretty decent but I could only use it from here down. It's kind of heavy as a styler so if I used it up here I would just weigh my hair down. But from like the ears down it would just really help with frizz it would keep my hair looking really nice past a couple of days and so eventually I bit the bullet and actually bought the full size and since I had the full size I decided you know what it's a hair moisturizer why don't I try deep conditioning with it so I deep conditioned with it and I was in love my hair smelled gorgeous for days afterwards it was so moisturized and ah. like I loved this almost as much as the diva curl matcha one like it's like diva curl lush there's like a half an inch right there so i loved this product i actually went through a full size because if i use this just to deep condition i can get about four or five deep conditioning treatments out of it so i used up an entire one of these and i just recently repurchased it it's a very steep price tag it's i think it's about 40 something dollars it's not something I'm going to keep buying. I think after this one I'll be done for a bit. But uh, I love the smell of this. If you have a Lush nearby, go in and just smell this because it's incredible. And if you have dry, dry hair that needs moisture, get a sample. Try using it to style your hair, especially your ends, and just see how it works for you. Because I've been more than happy with the results. I have a bone to pick with the next product that I purchased because of the sample. This was from Burberry. This is actually one of the first like luxury products I ever purchased. And I got it because I tried out a sample, more than one sample, of their Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid blah blah blah. I, I keep adding extra words to that. I'll throw a picture up here because I no longer have the full size. I actually panned the entire thing in one of my previous project pants. If you want to see that project, I'll throw it up in the cards if you want to kind of see how I went through it. But I am convinced 
the sample was different than the full-size product. I loved the sample so much. It came in just like a regular little, pla not plastic, you know, those little metally kind of uh, pouches. And it was just the most smoothing, moisturizing, glowy primer I had ever put on my skin. And it worked amazing under makeup. And because of that, I was like, you know what? I think this was a... Uh, I worked overtime on my last job last year. I had a little bit extra money. I was like, you know what? I want to get that Burberry thing. So I purchase it. I get the full size in the mail. I'm so happy. And then it's not the same. It was... I can't really explain how it was different, but it was different. And I, I really wish that I had the sample and the full size product side to side just to like actually compare them. But I'm not willing to repurchase the full size just to do that because I don't think the full size was worth it. I really loved the samples though. So I would 100% pick up a sample. Not like go into Sephora and get them to squirt it into the thing because there's something about the product in the actual full size product. Whenever they have it in like those little pouches, I don't know what it is. It's better. Ah, okay. So I did purchase the full size because of that sample, but unfortunately that was one of the cases where the sample was a bajillion percent better than the full size and I ended up being a bit disappointed. The, oh my god, it's getting like really loud outside. It's like pouring. <laughs> the next product that I picked up after using a bunch of, again, like little samples as Sephora point perks was from Cover FX and this is their mattifying primer. I remember back when this was, again, they had like a little itty bitty bottle as a 100 point perk and I ended up picking that up about four times because I really liked it. Back when I was still struggling with, uh, um, I, I don't want to call it acne, I was breaking out a lot more often. I don't have cystic acne or anything, but if you look towards the beginning of my channel, you can definitely see that I was struggling with consistent breakouts right around this part of my face and then up on my forehead. And whenever I used this primer, I actually saw those breakouts diminish. It looked great under makeup. This was perfect for the summer when, you know, I was walking to work in like this crazy, disgusting heat. And it was clearing up my breakups. Breakups. Breakouts. Jesus. I said that in my last uh, video a long time ago too. <laughs> breakups instead of breakouts. This was just, it worked with my skin. And after picking up a whole bunch of like the little minis from the point perks, I actually purchased the full size, went through the full size. This one I think I got in the kit because they have the Cover FX kit where it comes with like this, a little mini of the powder, and then the setting spray. And I picked that kit up twice too because that was like $20, $25. So 100% worth it because the setting powder was okay. I would never buy the full size of the setting powder, but within that kit, it was good. I loved the setting spray and I loved this primer. So this one is still, I think I just opened this one. I don't really want to go for matte right now because it's so dry in the middle of winter, but this is my go-to primer in the summer. The next product that I picked up after using samples, after getting some minis, was from Sunday Riley, and that is the Luna Sleeping Oil. As I said before, I did struggle with a lot of breakouts for the past year, and by year I mean like end of 2017, early 2018, and I... I was struggling finding products that actually worked on my skin. And this oil was one of the first things that really cleared everything up. I picked up a couple of samples when it like it was literally whenever I would go into a Sephora and pick something up, I would get a sample of it and like treasure my little samples. And I would use it occasionally and then after I stopped using it, I would see the breakouts kind of come back. So eventually I went in and purchased like the little kit where you can get the sleeping oil with the, um, yeah, it was like called the, the dude, there's, I'll throw a picture up because I, my mind is blanking right now, but there's a little kit you can buy that had like a mini along with another salicylic acid, I think, treatment in it. And I went through that and after using it for the entirety of that bottle, my skin was the best it had ever been. And at that point, I was like, you know what? I need to bite the bullet and buy the full size. The full size is over $100, you guys. Yeah. So, so I used the full size up 
I still hadn't found a good dupe for it yet so I bought another full size and I was using that one up and decided you know what I need to find something else this is expensive it lasts me a couple of months but it's still a hundred dollars over a hundred dollars so uh, after using two full sizes up I picked up one of another mini and that one's closer to like 70 or 80 dollars so I had that mini when I found the dupe for that product and that dupe is from CeraVe although the picture up here the last time I mentioned this I forgot to mention the product which excuse me I have brain farts all the time <laughs> but the CeraVe cream has the same effect on my skin and this is 20 dollars at CVS yes yes <laughs> so I actually I'm actually about to go through my first full tube of this I gotta go pick up another one today I don't know if I will if the rain I might just order it online they also have it at Ulta I just like using CVS because I get all the CVS coupons the cash back the blah 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 so I do like to do as much shopping there as I can but that's incredible and I'm so glad that I found that dupe because I, I was at the point where I was like do I need to keep spending this much money just to keep my skin clear you don't have to I don't have to like there, there are options out there it's just it takes research it takes time you gotta test out a bunch of stuff until you finally find what works for you but I went through all of those samples all of those bottles before I found my cheaper dupe the last product I'm actually gonna talk about today so I didn't try out a sample of this but I was in the store and I got I didn't have any makeup on that day and I got a full face like application and this foundation looked so gorgeous on my skin that I immediately bought it despite the price tag. This is kind of a, a throwback to earlier 2018 on my channel. This is the Chantecaille foundation. So this is actually called the Future Skin Oil Free Gel Foundation in the shade Alabaster. This is my second full container of this. This foundation is upwards of around $80. Yeah. Yeah. This was around the time where I was working overtime at my previous job and I had a little bit of extra money. My boyfriend and I were in like this downtown area. We got bubble tea and then we walked into a blue mercury and I was like, let's just try stuff out. I didn't intend to buy anything. I just wanted to go in and see what they had. The Chantecaille like section had like a representative in that day and so they were doing like free makeovers. If you you know would let them do what they wanted and I was like oh yeah I'll take it awesome so we sat down she mixed this with a um, liquid highlighter and put it all over my face I got a little bit of a concealer I also bought the concealer um, but the way that it just sat on my face and looked amazed me and I was literally like staring in a mirror for like 20 minutes like this looks incredible what is this how why where when so technically I didn't use a sample but I did get like a sample applied to me and that convinced me to buy it and it was a good product like I didn't mix it in with the liquid highlighter every time I used it but I did go through an entire bottle and I bought another bottle jar can I do words today and I did purchase another one I don't know if I'll purchase another one after this this is still fairly new uh, but it, it is probably my favorite luxury product of all time and I never would have found out about it if I hadn't just walked into the store and let them actually apply it to my face so those are a few of the products that I purchased because of a sample that I really loved let me know down below what you've purchased after using a sample of and if you want to see another one of these videos sometime in the future there are quite a few products that I'm really interested in as I go through my bite size review series which is where I try out all the makeup samples that I have in my collection and I really do want to do like a follow-up go through all of those videos and decide also again like what samples I actually ended up purchasing the full size of so if you guys like this and you want to see more let me know down below and I cannot wait to see you in my next video bye